Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here. Surprise video, I wasn't expecting to do this, but I had a lovely surprise show up at my doorstep the other day. My friend Craig from Disney, who is a collector of sorts, he collects all kinds of stuff. We've had long conversations about some of his collection pieces. Of course he collects decks of cards and pens and just anything you could think of really. He collects a bunch of this stuff and uh, he collects pens like like fountain pens, like pens, you know? And uh, he was telling me about this pen that he just collected or fixed up or something, and it's like a $5,000 pen. Crazy stuff. But anyway, he sent me a care package in the mail. Oh, This showed up at my doorstep the other day, and I wanted to do an unboxing video. Uh, I think I know what's in here, but I thought it would be fun to open this in front of all of you guys um, because oh, this thing is heavy and I have a feeling this is gonna be really cool. So without further ado, oh, all I've done is take a razor and, and cut the tape. I haven't opened this and looked in it yet. So you guys will be reacting with me in real time on this. You ready? Here we go. <gasps> okay, we have, we have a list here. Dude, how cool is this? I don't know if the camera's even picking this up or not. It says, Michael, enjoy. July 2020, uh, July 20, 2020, Wednesday. And I'm guessing he wrote this with one of his pens too. <laughs> the ink looks really cool. Michael, I'm sorry this took so long to get out to you. There are some real gems in here along with some other unexpected surprises. A boatload of Blue Seal bikes, some Dan and Dave notebooks, and even Tom Mollica. Hope you enjoy them. Cheers, Craig. Dude. I'm so excited to look at these. You have no idea. Craig, thank you so much, man. Beautiful, beautiful um, writing there. I, like I said, I am guessing that that's probably using your $5,000 pen uh, to write that. So really cool stuff. Um, yeah, man, let's, uh, let's dig into this. And I'm going to guess that this stuff is all originals. So like these are sealed Jerry's. When were these produced? Oh no, these ones are 2019. Still though, sealed Jerry's, love them. Um, and I'm not gonna know what a lot of this stuff even is. These are bicycle rider backs. Oh man, these are sealed. And these are looking old, man. It doesn't even have a date on them anywhere that I can tell. Bicycle rider back. So I'll put this up so you guys can see that there. And, uh, ooh, we have some tally hoes. If I can get these out of here. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful cards. And they're all sealed up. Original circle backs. Tally ho number nines. You guys can see there. Really cool. Those, those cards I used to use all the time, the tally hoes. I'll show you the circle back. It's the same deck that's the back design there. So you guys can see that. Um, I forget what these ones are called. These are the, which ones are these? Does it say? Uh, I don't remember what the names of these ones are, but you can see there. Let me know in the comments, these tally hose, the blue ones, what are these called? Thank you guys in the comment section, I love you. Um, some notebooks here. Really cool stuff. Some notebooks. Keep my notes in there for my cardistry that I will learn someday. Uh, antler playing cards. Nice. Some Dan and Dave playing cards there. Antlers. Really kind of hard to see in, in this lighting because it's like all brown. And I am wearing all brown. 
Um, these are the Venture Mobiles from Bradley Mountain in 1924 USA, made for travelers. These are distributed by Art of Play. So really cool, Art of Play. Deck, show you guys those. And the back. Really fun stuff, man. This is so cool. Tannin's Magic Shop. Man, Tannin's playing cards. Oof. Established 1925. When were these printed? These were printed in 2019. These look beautiful. Check that out. Tannin's Magic Shop. Got a bunch of uh, old school bicycle decks in here with the uh, old school rider back backs design. Really cool. Loving those. Ooh, these look really cool. U.S. regulation playing cards. Printed in 2011. Again, Dan and Dave Buck. Um, that's what those look like on the front. And I really dig that back tuck box. That looks cool. <clears throat> These here are... What is this? United Airlines. United Airlines playing cards. Red and blue. So I'm guessing these are cards that they gave out when you were flying so you could play card games on long trips. And these, what is this? Ooh, these are the Molica. These are the Tom Molica cards he was telling me about. And they are signed by Tom Molica from the Tom Foolery. For those of you who don't know who Tom Molica is, just look up Tom Molica eating cigarettes and you'll know everything you need to know about how insane this guy is. And in a good way too, one of the best uh, sleight of hand artists for his time. Really creative and over the top character. I loved every moment about uh, watching Tom Molica perform. Really need more performers like Tom Molica these days to be honest with you. Ooh, these are really cool. Tally hose, these are number 13s. Designed by Jackson Robinson, 2017. So, tally-ho. Let you guys see back there. And here, don't know what these are called. Venture onward, live adventurously. These are, what is this deck? These are more art of play cards. Bebravor D? I don't know. I don't know how to say that, but what is this? If anyone knows what these are called, if you can even see it there, <laughs> let me know. Cool stuff. More tally hoes. Man, I love me some tally hoes. Cool stuff. Check this out. And the backs. Tally ho. Craig. Dude, this is so cool. All right. Magic Castle cards. I think I had these at one point, actually. I had them in red. These are in blue here. And now I have them in red and blue. What do you know? Magic Castle cards. Some more Tally Hoes. Really cool back design there. Very cool. $1 refund offer by mail. $50 or 50 cent off coupon on your next purchase. When were these printed? These are the Bicycle 808s. Offer good until 1992. So these have got to be from like 1990 or something like that. Really cool. It was the offer there on the back. And more bicycle rider back. Oh, these are racer backs, excuse me. Bicycle racer backs. Remedies, Madison and Schneider. So I'm guessing this is uh, Daniel Madison. Right? I'm guessing Madison and Schneider Remedies cards. Same thing here. Black Rose playing cards. I'm guessing the same. 
Yep, Daniel Schneider. They look they look very similar. That's why I was guessing that they were the same. If you guys can see, I know it's probably a little blurry. Um, same cards, but in different colors. Got the guy hauling worth cards. These are really cool. I like these a lot. Red and green. All right. Man, those Tom Molica cards. I still can't believe that those. Crazy. Knox. Perhaps the most anticlimactic deck of cards you'll ever see. Uh, <laughs> the design that went into those is insane. Steamboats. When are these from? Uh, you know, you could tell that these are old because they hadn't started putting the freaking date on them yet. The date's probably on the on the on the Joker. Steamboats. Armored vehicle recognition, graphic training aid, headquarters department of the army. These are army cards. Huh. That's cool. They are literally, again, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's got like a picture of a tank on it. And it says BMD Soviet, same turret and armament as BMP. Driver's hatch centered below the main gun. Five road wheels, four support rollers found with airborne units. And it shows what the tank looks like. I'm guessing these are trainers for uh, people in the field to know. Uh, what the enemy vehicles look like. So we had two of those. Got some aviators uh, in red and blue. All right, so there's aviators, red and blue. And some more bicycle. These are some gold seal cards, very nice. So some bicycle gold seals there. And uh, some old school uh, bicycle rider backs with the old school box design. I love the old school box design. And last but not least, um, these are the Conjurer Community Bicycle Playing Cards. So these look very similar to those racer backs that we looked at earlier, as you can see there. And that is everything. So, oh man. I don't, I don't know what to say, Craig. This, this has been, rat man, this has been really cool. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm beyond words. Um, that's so cool, man. Uh, that's Craig Rockin' Nova, everyone. Uh, thank you so much again, Craig, for this. Thank all of you for watching. Which was your favorite deck? Please sound off in the comment section below. I would love to know which one of these you liked the most. I can already tell you my personal favorites were the Tom Foolery cards by Tom Molica. He even autographed one of those decks. So, ah, so cool. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.